It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It is Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, before the break, we, sp break rather, we spoke to the founder of Project Flamingo, Dr. Liana Root, about what sparked the idea for the organization, Project Flamingo, and also about the great work that they've been doing for breast cancer patients over the past six years. Another great aspect of the work that Project Flamingo does is the pamper packs that they put together for newly diagnosed breast cancer patients. Now, these pamper packs contain some bathroom essentials, a snack, magazines, as well as educational material on breast cancer that they can bring along to hospital when they come back for other or rather for their surgeries. Now the idea of the pamper pack has truly taken off and has become a token of hope. For a woman who receives a breast cancer diagnosis, the path that lies ahead may seem dark and filled with anxiety. Project Flamingo wants to remap this path through support and holistic care all through a woman's breast cancer journey. Every single patient Sometime during the journey, she would tell me, but am I still a woman? You are still a woman. You will always be a woman. And here's just a little token to remind you of that. The token is a pamper pack Project Flamingo distributes to patients, which includes cosmetics, toiletries, and a few treats to brighten their time in hospital. The pamper packs is symbolic of so many things. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We give this pack, it lightens the mood, their eyes will fill up with tears. How a simple thing like lipstick can give someone back their dignity can really change a person's perspective and how they carry themselves through a difficult time. We are here to support you and by supporting you this is our offering. The women who volunteer to help Project Flamingo are often breast cancer survivors themselves, like Michelle who lovingly supports new patients. I have walked that journey. I know that fear. I know how one feels when one hears that diagnosis, that you have cancer. And having had that experience myself, I really felt that um, I wanted to play a part in my community in making a difference in someone else's life. Project Flamingo also provides a system of support and a wealth of information to women when they need it most. Mayor Angelo's words probably sum it up for me. People will forget what you did and they will forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Absolutely, we could not agree with that more. Now we're joined by Wendy Scurry and Michelle Rennie, who are both breast cancer survivors and who are founding members and key contributors to Project Flamingo. Ladies, it's so wonderful to have you here, Michelle, Wendy. I'm gonna start off with you, Michelle. How did you become involved with Project Flamingo? Getting involved with Project Flamingo was really a continuation of my own journey yeah. at a time where I really felt that I was part of making a difference in the lives of other breast cancer. No, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And that email landed in the right inbox. And we had just returned from a breast cancer survivor event in Canada with a little bundle of money. Yeah. And we were looking for a special project. We were very aware of the needs in Cape Town. And when we got involved um, in doing something with it, the email was landed up in our inbox and we met Diana, her passion and her enthusiasm to make a difference in the lives of women in Cape Town um, resonated hugely with us. And during a live um, radio program, we phoned in and pledged the first sum of money. Wow. And the rest is now, what, what impact has it had on your life so far? It's given me the opportunity to, to make a difference. Um, I've always felt that there was a... Do you want to grab the mic there behind you? There we go. <laughs> you can just use that, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, I just feel that um, having been diagnosed with breast cancer many yeah. years ago, that there was a reason beyond just um, having the disease. Yeah. And um, I felt that this gave me the opportunity to be out there and allay the fears of breast cancer patients pre-surgery, um, visiting them post-surgery, and, and just um, in doing that, that feeling when you walk away having given that patient a hug mm. and left them with a smile on their face, yeah. it's, it's a very humbling experience it and um, it's made me really feel that um, uh, I've been able to, to change their lives in some way. That's so powerful. Wendy, can you tell us more about your cancer journey, where it began and where you stand today? Yes, thank you. 
I was diagnosed in 2003. I was 36 years old and um, I had stage 3B aggressive breast cancer. Wow. Two days later, on a Saturday morning, I had my first mastectomy. Three years later, I was diagnosed a second time and went through chemo again, went bald again. But what really has been a huge part of my recovery process was being able to give back to the community. And that involved going to visit patients at the GF Uster Hospital that has since closed before they had their surgery and then the day after their surgery, yeah. which I thought was just something I was doing for them. But I realized how much I actually got back just in terms of what I was able to give to them. So where I am today, I am absolutely healthy. I'm happy. Um, I now run a health and wellness practice. And my message for um, cancer survivors, you need to be so positive. You need yeah. to really just have those, um, that, those thoughts of, I'm going to beat this. This is not going to beat me. Yeah. And that is what carried me through. I think there are many women sitting at home that are going through the same thing uh, that mm -hmm. you were going through. And thank you so much for that message of encouragement. I thank do believe you. that you've touched the hearts of many. Now, when a doctor told her friends about women having to wait three months for treatment after a breast cancer diagnosis, it was decided by a group of women that help was needed to treat newly diagnosed breast cancer patients in the public health care system. So Project Flamingo was born and Woolworths recently hosted the TF or the T off for Charity Golf Day. Now, this was to raise funds for this incredible initiative.